All right, good morning. Uh, it's a good morning to have you. Uh, to what degree is this a, a washout, if it is at all? Well, it, it got awfully close. It, um, as you know, Carl, because you see the, my morning comments every day, about two weeks ago I said I thought we were going to go into some seasonal selling, hopefully the bottom on the 24th, which would be today. And uh, they came in. I have looked weaker on the opening. Um, but then they began to pick up. They're trying to um, rally here, which time classically time frame is pretty good between um, about 10:15 and noon is often a good time for these uh, washout. You get a lot of them near the end of the month, and uh, so they all. That's why I was looking for the bottom, uh, possibly on the 24th. If they sell them again and get down around. Uh, between 800 and 1,000 in the Dow, I think that may qualify for that washout. I certainly like the uh, the spike in the VIX. That uh, gives you a sense of uh, a little bit of a washout selling. But uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more of throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Right. Uh, yeah, VIX above 30, uh, raise some eyebrows down here. And then, you know, 9 to 1 downside volume. Art has historically been a decent signal. Um, but does, is that valid today? Yeah, no, I think, I think we're reasonably close, Carl. I think uh, there's a couple of things going on. But he's talking about uh, Russia and Ukraine. Um, I, I think that's a danger spot, but not an immediate one. Uh, Putin had to send troops down to Kazakhstan uh, to protect the government down there. And the troops he had to send were among his most experienced. So that's left... The guys up around the Ukraine, more the draftees, the conscripts. So I, I think I don't see a, a nearby overt move by the Russians. What you might see is a move since you have the uh, the draftees up there. And and China, I don't think, is going to make any overt move there. They want to get into the Olympics. It's his global show. He wants things going. you got the Lunar New Year coming up. So, yeah, well, we have those geopolitical dangers, but I don't know how immediate they are. Hey, Art, uh, days like this, uh, after days like this for a few times over, you know, people start to say, oh, when's the Fed going to have our back again? Are they going to back off because of the market dislocation? You have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I think uh, it, it won't be immediate, um, but I think now that Powell um, has been uh, reconfirmed, um, so we find out his his, uh, his role at the Fed is not transitory. So um, that's going to give him a little latitude. I think the Fed and Powell are nervous. Um, you know, obviously the selling has started before them, and it, it clearly the selling is not directly related to them. If you look at the bond yields, etc. Uh, but the Fed is very nervous about these things. So it might give them a reason to slow their step a little bit. I don't think they, too, want to be too overt about it. But believe me, I think they will have the markets back if things turn worse, if we don't bottom here and turn around uh, and they keep selling into uh, uh, late spring, early summer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you'll see a little bit of a difference. You there. do.